Thank you for being here tonight for KION News at 5. We start with an investigation that's underway after a second incident at the energy storage plant in Moss Landing caused the facility there to go completely offline. Fire crews responded to the plant back on February 13th after their sprinkler system was set off. KION's Lisa Principe looks into what may be causing the problems for this facility. The largest energy storage plant in the world is now offline indefinitely after a second overheating incident in the past five months. Crews with North County Fire responded to the Moss Landing plant Sunday after the early detection system was activated in the 100 megawatt phase two building. There wasn't any fire, but they did find that the uh, building, the battery building itself was charged with smoke and uh, there was a fire alarm or actually a suppression system that had armed and was actually spraying water. Vistra Energy, which runs the plant, says the entire facility is now offline as they investigate. In a statement, Vistra said, what we know is the water-based suppression system released water that contacted some batteries, water hoses leaked, and some batteries shorted, creating smoke in the building, similar to what we observed with the September incident at our 300 megawatt facility next door. That September 2021 incident happened in the phase one facility. Vistra says they believe the smoke was caused by an air handling unit separate from the battery system. Vistra completed its first investigation and began bringing the phase one facility back online on January 21st after testing and installing systems to monitor for leaks in the suppression system. But just three weeks later, it happened again. The changes were made to phase one and they were just getting ready to make the changes on phase two, which is the Moss 100. They were about a week out before this happened. While the phase one building was not affected in this latest incident, Vistra is stopping their plans to slowly bring that facility back online during this new investigation. Reporting in Moss Landing, Lisa Princhby, KION News Channel 546. Again, that was KIU and Lisa Principe reporting tonight and Fire Chief Mendoza tells her that there are gas monitors to detect if any harmful gases were released during either of those incidents. He says he's not concerned that anything harmful was released in either of them.